we're at we're at mutiny. They make red stuff. Um, so uh, this one is for the Komodo, the original Komodo. Yes. And just moves the what the SDI yeah, straight up. Because currently, right, the port is back here underneath here. Right. And a lot of people are using um, obviously uh, battery mounts. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's obstructed. Ours actually is a little higher than most because there's actually room to get your fingers in there. But like if you're using the Tofu one, it, it's much lower and there's not much room to do that. Right. And if you're trying to do the SDI protocol like 12G and you're trying to follow that properly, it's almost impossible to constantly do that unless you do it up the monitor end. So we made this little pigtail or just extends it out to the side. So it's just easy access. Perfect. Uh, but on top of that, we've actually yeah. made a 12G isolator. And that's just, just a prototype. It'll look better than that. It'll be labeled properly. Yeah. I mean, so it's what, a nice 3D print. Yeah, I mean, it'll look even better. It'll look like most of our stuff does, which is, you know, like, like that box over there. Right. Super smooth. Um, and it's done on a $250,000 printer, so it's not like a, yeah. a, a home printer or anything right. like that. Um, Carbon? Uh, no, it's 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 MJF. It's multi jet fusion high impact nylon. Oh. Um, and our first product we ever made actually was on Guardians of the Galaxy. We sold a bunch of them to them and our triggers, and they're all made out of the same material. And so if it's good enough for them, it's probably good enough for yeah. the regular Joe. But and the isolator does what? The isolator does this. So instead of unplugging your 12G cable and following that protocol, what we've done is we made this little box. We invented it, and then we teamed up with Freak Show HD, which make uh, they make uh, 12G um, DAs. We Talking DAs, which have a, a certain layer of 12G protection on them as well, but their main job is to split that signal out and keep the quality there. Yeah. So we went to them and I said, "Hey, I have this idea. What do you think of it?" And they said, "Yeah, that would work. It's it's pretty right. smart." So basically, your 12G in, 12G out, and then your power in, and it's got a power pass through, so you're not right. wasting a port on this. But what, instead of switching out the cable, all you're doing is flipping a switch. The and red light turns work. off. It's in full isolation mode now. So what that does is it's cutting the signal. It's right. keeping ground, but signal is not there. So you have the 12 the, the 12G uh, protection of the free show in there, but you're also the second layer where there's no signal. So if you get a voltage spike, it's not going to go back through to the camera. Right. It's going to retain here. You take off your battery, it's still in isolation mode until you flick the switch back. And then your signal's there. Obviously, you'll have a monitor feed right. when you do that. And that's and uh, when you mentioned the protocol, you're talking about the whole... Removing of the out. Right, because 12G for people who don't Half know. Powering up your monitor, Cam powering up your camera. Burn out the camera. 12G, 12G yeah. connection. Yeah. This bypass all of that altogether. As long as you have it connected and you have it in isolation mode, you're good to go. Awesome. Yeah. And then you, you guys also make uh, fun cables. Like this one has the little... Speaking of power safety. Yeah, that's a length quick, uh, length quick safe top cable. It's the yeah. version four of it. So that offers a layer of protection as well. Ground always hits first before for, before positive. So the there's a lot less likelihood that you're going to toast out a piece of equipment. Right. So if you're using like a small HD monitor, or even more so if you're using like a like an Atomos or like an ED7 or OC that has the barrel connector, yeah. there's no shielding on those, right? right. So having a, a ground hit first before, before positive is going to save you a a big hassle of, of posting something out. Plus, it has this uh, indicator light on here, a little LED, so it tells you when like green is good to go. If it's in red, it's saying that hey, there's a problem here, and then there's like purple blink. There's different layers of of colors that tell you what the different problems are. Right. So it can help you prevent like killing your monitor, for example. Like maybe you have you've plugged this into a, a system that has a bad short in it or something. Like right. That. It's gonna most likely toast this out before anything. And else. those. Uh, those are installed. Those like aren't yours. You can a person could install a, those. A person on could try to buy those and do it. It's right. difficult. <laughs> if, if they have good soldering skills and whatnot, yes. Yeah. Uh, and they know clarity and everything else. And I love these little uh, these little guys. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> these are two different ones. This one is you plug it into your D tap. You can plug it into your Komodo. It's an adjustable angle too, so it's oh, adjustable nice. keyway. So if you want it this way instead of this way, you just plug it in. Use our little wrench that comes with it. It adjusts the keyway the way you want, up to eight different angles. You tighten it up, but it also let you power your monitor. Yeah, and you can so get this slick. in Limo, you can get this in, in barrel connector, uh, whatever you want. This little guy was just a freak project I kind of did for Scott Dalton. Uh, where you go in a D-tap, it gives you a, a D-tap out as well. And instead, it uses this uh, interchangeable locking barrel system. So you could go to your your uh, whatever monitor you want. But say you don't want barrel, you could then just go to like a Limo instead. Right. It's, just an, it's a fun little thing that I made. I, I, he's, he's freaking out. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, but our main products are our, like our battery I.O. for Komodo, our Raptor I.O., 
and then we already know this is going to be a hit because we have already have people asking to buy it. Right. Is our KXIO for? Yeah. It technically also works on Raptor, but got it. You got it. And uh, so this is our new product that Balance we're going to be rolling out. Nice. So, yeah. Well, the GDU handles are. Well, lovely. That's, that's Matt's work right there. Matt, um, I want GU swag. <laughs> um, but this changes from a gold mount to beam mount. Um, you don't need uh, to buy two different units. It has a record button built right on here, so you can actually, if you look on the side, there's record right here, but also a tally light, right? So it tells you that you're actually recording. You got your small HD control, your EXT port pass-through. So you normally your EXT is used when you're using an expander. We're like, well, why not just have one that you can use for whatever you want, time code, gen lock, or your small HD. Gee, small issue sometimes ships with this, but sometimes it ships with this. Right. And sometimes you just have to buy a different cable. You might need this port for something else, like a trigger, for example. That's my water bottle, I'm sorry. <laughs> you might want to use this 9 pin pasture for, for a trigger, for right. example, and then put your small issue on this instead. And then we've got also on this side, we have a 6 amp uh, digital fuse which is the same as on our Raptor uh, I.O. And then we have this anti-battery drain system so that if you want to leave this camera built, but you don't want to drain you know, power, because this, this thing will still suck power right. uh, with everything connected. They all do. You just hit yeah. that and you're good to go. Um, and then it's got gen lock, obviously, and, and, um, and uh, time code on this side and some power ports. Uh, we went with going uh, connectors on the operator side on this just to keep it compact. It's not for everybody, but for us it made sense uh, to get as many ports as possible with this thing as possible yeah um, and then we do make things like uh, custom like no one in the world makes these this is a adjustable keyway uh, nice DC, uh, DSMC3 and uh, DSMC2 power cable um, and it allows you to adjust the keyway any way you want so you can also use this as a hot swap cable right because all you have to do is in this case you would plug it into uh, the way we had a key this way right you have your battery on there, it's about to die. What do you do? Take this with your fresh battery, plug it in, remove your old one, snap it on, remove it, and you're good to go. That's Just good. Just a fast, easy way to hot swap. That is the one thing I like about the C500 is I've got the, um, uh, what are they called? Full frame camera co battery plate. Yep. But if you leave the little, Canon battery in there. You can just hot swap the V-locks all day. Well, there you go. Yeah. So great, uh, great addition there. And also on this, we put uh, offset detaps, so the detaps go the opposite direction, and the uh, the uh, positive pin is shorter than ground, so ground always hits first. Another layer of protection on on your devices. So. Amazing. So plenty of power. Recording button built right in. You can add external triggers, interchangeable plate, um, and we also have a bracing system, so you can't accidentally pop this thing off. Right. Oh, because it's because it's technically mounted to the V-mount. It's mounted the V now, right? So technically, I guess you could press this and pop it up, but we have this bracing kit system and we'll make it for other top plates as well. But, yeah. Um, yeah, and that's that. And then our other most popular product is obviously our bolt-on triggers, which everyone seems to be using for Phantom, for Red, for Area, uh, right. for Five, for so. And we also have cables to do um, Sony Multicam and N3 Canon, so we can trigger those. Oh, well. awesome. With the same button, you don't have to buy a new button. It'll trigger all of those. So. so cool. And then just tons of custom cables, um, all different types in paracord and, and, and others. Yeah, and then these are the GDU. Uh, and these are the GDU um, body caps. HVT body caps. You put an air tag in them. Uh, I was telling um, a couple of people here, um, our insurance company that we just signed up for the show, they actually asked if you use air tags because you get a discount. Oh. Uh, and I was like, we got a hundred bucks off just like that because they may know the odds of getting that gear back are a lot a lot higher if you have a tracking system. And they also know that if a thief tries to steal this, it's going to chime, right? right? And they're going to be less likely to take it because they know there's an air tag. Right. So or their leave. phone is going to be like, someone's tracking you. Yeah, they're going to leave that camera package there and run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Hopefully. there's two layers of, of safety on that end too. So Hell yeah, man. And we make a lot more stuff, but this is kind of what we're showing here. Awesome. Love it.